Consider the ordinary differential equation, or ODE, shown. We can numerically approximate the solution to this ODE using the ODE for 5 function. To solve an ODE numerically, we need three pieces of information. A function representing the differential equation, an interval for the independent variable, and the initial conditions. Let's create MATLAB variables representing these pieces of information, and then we will use them as input to the ODE45 function. We can create a simple scalar variable to represent the initial condition. For example, if our differential equation is describing the change in position of an object, the initial condition allows us to provide a starting point. We will use a vector to represent the interval where we want to approximate the solution. For example, if the independent variable is time, we may want to observe the solution of a system between 0 and 2 seconds. To represent the ODE, we must first write it so that the only term to the left of the equal sign is the first order derivative of the solution. Expressing the ODE in this way is a standard way of writing ODEs, and it makes it easier to input the ODE into MATLAB. In this representation, notice that the function on the right-hand side of the ODE will generally depend on the scalar independent variable as well as the solution itself. Because of this, we can now represent the ODE as a function of two inputs. The first input represents the independent variable, and the second input represents the solution itself. In MATLAB, functions are passed to other functions using variables called function handles. There are several ways to define function handles. In this example, we will define a function handle using an anonymous function. It is important to note that the order of inputs cannot be switched because the ODE45 function assumes the first input represents the independent variable. Now that we've created variables to represent the ODE, let's pass them to the ODE45 function using this command. The ODE45 function implements advanced numerical algorithms that approximate the true solution to the ODE. Together, the two outputs of the ODE45 function represent the computed approximation. The first output variable is a column vector of values for the independent variable. The second output variable is a column vector of the same size that contains the values of the approximate solution when evaluated at the corresponding values of the independent variable. In particular, notice that the first row of the second output is the same as the initial value. We can visualize the output using the plot function to better understand the system. We see that the horizontal axis represents the interval where the solution is computed. Also, we notice that the curve representing the solution begins at the value specified by the initial condition.